Hello, hello, and welcome to this video on using shipyard blocks, which if you press tab, bring up the menu, make sure you've selected uh, the cube thing, it is these, which is these blocks here, the shipyard block. I'll Joe, just give a quick example of uh, how you put them down. They are lined up to the larger grid, so if you do put something down, make sure it's at the edge. You'll see in a second why. If I go to it, there we go. The arrow is the up direction for the Y axis, which is just up and down. So push R a few times, rotate to there. And there you go. You've put down your shipyard block. Now if I go across to the, the link tool, which is over there. If you click on it, it'll actually show you the, um, that light colored cube there is the shipyard at the moment with these great big arrows showing you what, what direction is up, which direction is forward. So we've got to move close to it till that message pops up, push F, and then we've got this nice menu here. Now, from what I've gathered, that column is X, that is Y, up and down, and that is Z. Lots of nice little options I'll get to in a moment. But you essentially, at the moment, you change those numbers there. So if I want this higher, so zero at the moment for height is level with the shipyard block. So if I change bounds maximum to five and push enter, it uh, stretches all the way up for five blocks. Uh, same if I change that to two. Yeah, that goes towards me. And therefore, if I change that one to three or well, level two, it doesn't matter. It goes off that way. So now I've got essentially a shipyard extending away from that block in that direction. We've got to sort out the arrows next. If I go back in, um, bounds minimum, you set that to minus two and goes over there. If I set it to one, it actually starts to cut across from the block. So you can offset the entire system away from the actual shipyard block. It could be buried in the structure of something and this will extend out somewhere. Set that to minus two. And of course that one, if I set to minus one, it'll extend backwards. Up direction, uh, you set it to one. Uh, four direction, let's see, that's uh, X. Let's all use that one, that one there. So that should have an arrow pointed that way. So you've got the red arrow on the side of the screen we've got uh, what the colors mean so the shipyard bounds up and forwards should have mentioned that at the beginning but that there is now up so when you land your ship on there it'll orientate itself facing that way and it's upright as well so to demonstrate that better i am going to go fly into one of these these two examples are of option for whether you configure it as a landing pad. So if I click on that one, I'll get close enough, I've buried it in there. Uh, is landing pad true? That just means that when your ship lands on it, it gets itself to just land flush to the floor. Whereas with it off, like in this case, oops, come on, there we go, false. It'll just sit in the middle of the bounds or sit in the middle of the bounding box pretty much. So that's quite useful. Now, right, I'll just uh, demonstrate using or docking and undocking with uh, with this one. Although, ironically, I'll be undocking first. Right, okay, let's get in the ship, close that one, connect to that. Right, now because I'm already docked, it'll ask me, do I want to repair or undock? Um, don't know why it's called that. I can't seem to change it. So I undock and it allows me to now fly the ship as normal. So I can head on out, try and turn slowly and controlled. Now, with all these little um, oh, little angled brackets will denote something that you can middle click on as per the little icon there. So I middle click on it and on the bottom right, it'll show you what you've got selected. And now if you hold down the middle button, you can move the mouse and choose request a landing. And the, the autopilot sort of starts to take over, but you've still got to fly in. Now, this may go a bit funny because I've got the arrow for the forward direction pointing the other way. And the autopilot, once I get close enough, will actually try... There we go, it's caught me. Oh, it's turning me around quite well this time. 
yeah. It spins me around and lands me, and once it connects, it'll then bring up that message, do I want to repair or undock? Uh, if you click on X, it then chucks you out of the yoke and allows you to interact with the ship as normal and get out of it. The really useful thing about this is normally if you've got a ship and you've gotten out of it, you've powered down, you've, you've let go of the yoke, this ship will just fall out of the air. With these shipyard um, blocks it means you can park your ship up and it will just stay there and you can come back to it for later. Now the useful thing about these Thing, these blocks is because it is a block it can participate in all the other ways of doing things in building things and whatever including being attached to rail and rotator hinges and all that kind of systems and I have got something set up which is this building over here so I have got a shipyard set up for that space there and I've got push a, bu push a button I can get the whole thing to slide in. So if I get that to slide out and get into a ship, I can demonstrate. Oop, closer. There we go. I use this ship this time. Right, let's push that. Go into that. Undock. It's a bit twitchy the control sometimes. So if I go to outside view, now I've just pushed G to bring the landing gear up and because I've got it assigned to a hotkey logic block, once I select the landing pad, choose request landing, it uh, automatically deploys any landing gear you've got and actually tied to it. So if I move in, if I get close enough, there we go, autopilot's caught me, go back into my inside view and there we go, it's captured me. Then, once I exit, I can go up to here, push the, tr um, the toggle switch, and because the ship is docked to the shipyard, the shipyard's on a rail, it all moves, it all goes in, in one go. So there we can see the usefulness starting to show itself for these shipyard blocks, not just for just parking it somewhere, but you can really start, you can have uh, platforms to go up and down. Um, but the one extra interesting thing is, again, because it's a block, you can attach it to a spaceship and you can put a landing pad on the spaceship, of which I have got the examples up there. That large one is work in progress, you've seen in a minute. But those smaller ones there, I've got some actual, uh, what are they called? I've got some shipyards attached to them. Now let's see if I can get into here. should be able to undock. There we go, right. Go to outside view, it's more interesting than that cramped view. Right, uh, press shift just for cruise. There we go. Now on the top is little landing pads. Try and do it a bit more careful. See landing pad two. Request landing. This could prove interesting. The autopilot can send you on a little journey sometimes if it doesn't quite find clearance. <laughs> but there we go. And it lands me nicely. And of course, of course, external view. It's it chucks me to the external view. My character as soon as you've docked. So F4 back inside. Click on the X. Right, I've got gravity set up on this area. Now, we have landed on this ship and we can fly it somewhere. And as I mentioned earlier, you can build the shipyards quite large or the, the, the catchment area. And I've got two, two areas down there. I've got a dry dock and a gantry. So let's take this uh, medium sized ship because I can't call it a larger, larger size ship because of that there. So if I head inside, oh, I could take the lift, but I've got rocket pack on. Head into that. Zoom. And now I can move this around. Whoops. Where is he going? Maybe I nudged him. Ah, right, okay. 
There's a little ship there. <laughs> Why? Anyway, right. I, I I need to deal with this a second. Right. Okay, the ship moves a lot better now. Where's the other one down there? Right. Switch to cruise mode. So you can see a lot of junk where I've been building up things over time and abandoning them. Right. Swing on round. First of all, we'll land in the dry dock. Oops. Oh yeah, I selected it. Oh come on. Request landing. Now this one, because it's a lot bigger, it will catch it sooner, but it's easier if you have it level and not going too fast. And not hit something underneath you. There we go, it's caught me. There we go. And that is that docked at this uh, area. Whoops, let's fly out. I prefer having orientated. So now we've got a nice big ship parked in, a, in its own uh, dry dock. And you can uh, build on the ship as well. Got a gantry there. Let's park on that one a second. Oops. Oh, there we go. Right, undock. I can just lift off. Backwards. Sideways. Right, there we go. Oh, it's actually over there. Request landing. Now this one demonstrates that you can have things move towards a docked ship um, once it's fixed in place. So again, I've been caught on that one. That's pulling me in. And click there. Right. Oh, get out of my seat. Try and move before I've taken the seat belt off. Should have designed that better. Now, I've got gravity on this ship, so if I let myself fall down there, slow my speed down. As you just saw there, I've got a proximity switch inside that box there, so when I move close enough, it triggers. So if I've, if you've got a nicely designed ship and it lines up with the shipyard, with this um, shipyard area nicely, you can have the like the exit of your ship there. This will just move out, and you just walk onto it. Like of this one, that is the shipyard block. Oh, why has it got such a horrible colour? There we go. Yeah, click on it, and yeah, you can see just how large this shipyard area is. But yeah, so that is using shipyards and a few different ways you can use them using them on ships, setting them up for larger ships to land on, putting them on rails. And if I show this one down here, yeah, you can see how that sort of fills the space there. So, yeah, that is uh, Shipyards. Um, I hope you find it useful. If there's anything I missed, please let me know. Um, I've got an idea I, I, I want to try uh, regarding some, doing it, escape pods and turrets. I uh, saw a few people talking about it on the, the Discord um, the other day. Um, they were talking about using maglocks, and so I sort of realized, well, if you set up a shipyard sort of space nicely and park something which, instead of being a spaceship, is actually either something that looks like an escape pod or even like a, a ship's turret, you could then um, do modular turrets and, and all sorts of things. So that would be something to, to experiment with for, for Wednesday's video, if I can get myself organized. So that... Uh, I'll uh, see you in the next one, and uh, I'll just fly about a bit and head up to that ship up there with this. So, see you in the next video.